As Black History Month comes to a close, tonight we're featuring a Bay Area woman who's broken barriers and is inspiring a new generation. Nia Amara is the first black woman to earn a PhD in astrophysics from UC Berkeley. As KTV's Greg Lee shows us, Amara is combining her love of space and art to celebrate black culture. The meaning of life, how the universe began, is there life on planets beyond Earth? Curiosity is what drives Nia Amara. In pursuit of the answers to her big questions about the universe, the Oakland native began studying physics and astrophysics. She broke barriers along the way, becoming the first black woman to earn a Ph.D. in astrophysics from UC Berkeley. Amara, modest about the gravity of her achievement. I just hope that my experience and my accomplishments are going to help pave the way for, for other uh, young people, young women, young black people, especially who are interested in pursuing astrophysics or, or any other field where there may be barriers ahead of them. Dr. Amara realized science and astronomy didn't fully answer her questions, so she turned to art, specifically painting. Art is so important because it, it speaks to my full humanity in a way that science wouldn't be able to do just by itself. Her talents and passions always remaining in the same orbit and driving her to publish her new book, Painting the Cosmos. Amara explores the intersection of science and art with a focus on black and brown culture. I go through these various concepts chapter by chapter and I explore how both artists and scientists approach these ideas. Each and every one of us, we have the power to shape our reality, to shape our world and to have a, a good impact on our world. In the book, Dr. Amara uses examples in space to stress the importance of diversity and harmony. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It has this huge gravitational field that often deflects asteroids and comets that might otherwise slam into our planet and have a huge impact on the development of life. Amara is also giving back, starting a nonprofit called Onakita, which provides free STEM tutoring to black and brown youth. We want to do our part to, to dismantle certain systemic barriers that get in the way of them fulfilling their full potential. And STEM, you know, the sciences and math, is, is a critical area for many of our students. Her message to a new generation of young scientists and explorers is simple. Don't let anyone dim your light. I would say to, to young girls to dream big and use your dreams as, you know, your North Star. Greg Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.